Hi everybody. Good afternoon. Good late afternoon. Oh, why is it so zoomed in? Um, this is Devoted Heart Lauren. This is my Monday awareness upgrade. A little bit late. I was very tired this morning and I just wanted to rest. So I decided to do this a little later in the day. And I feel like a lot of people are watching my Monday talk on the replay anyways. So I'd love to get some feedback on that. If there's, a, if there's a time that you would like to tune in live and you have a suggestion, please let me know because I'm happy to adjust. I just kind of picked a random time that works for me fairly consistently, but I'm open. So with that said, my, my theme for this week is, or for today, is celebrate your aliveness. Celebrate your aliveness. So um, I'm... I was very much inspired by a student share in one of my chakra workshops within the past year. And if you know who you are and you're watching this, feel free to to shout out or to write a comment. Um, but I had a, a student who, after we went through this chakra process, this meditation, and for those of you that may not be familiar, the chakras are energy centers. So we were doing like a whole exploration of the different layers and the different aspects of energy that we experience, such as our connection to the earth, our connection to creativity, emotions, sensuality, our power, our heart, our voice, our intuition, and our connection. Okay, so it's just like the quick little two cent explanation of, of chakras. And so after we had this whole experience, which was very deep, very deep exploration of, of layers of, of energy, she her reflection was just of gratitude, just gratitude for being able to experience all of the fluctuations of aliveness. So gratitude for the happiness, gratitude for sadness, gratitude even for like the feeling of depression. You know, I, I, I remember, I believe that I believe that was mentioned as well. Um, and so, yeah, just celebrating our capacity to feel rather than rather than not, rather than feeling like first of all, a victim of our, our feelings and circumstances and what we go through, but also just like wishing things were a certain way, which, you know, maybe will work to a certain degree if we're able to, if we change our mindset and we take certain action steps. But also to some degree, life is dramatic. And I think I've done this talk before as well. Life is a melodrama. We're caught in this web of our own stuff and there's constantly, you know, impermanence is very evident constantly wherever we look. The things are always changing. The only constant is change, right? So there are going to be, to some degree, always ups and downs. As yogis, as seekers, as people who are creating more and more awareness, we are looking to perhaps minimize the fluctuations. So it's like this rather than like this, perhaps, right? To, to limit the fluctuations of the highs and the lows. But there will, to some degree, be fluctuations regardless. We'll always have feelings. We'll always have different experiences with our body as it continues to change and evolve and age. Uh, so there's always new stuff. So can we be grateful for our aliveness and celebrate our deep capacity to feel rather than not, rather than feeling bad about ourselves for our very human existence and, and the nature of that human existence? So recently last week i was i was thinking about death actually death has been obviously something that's been on the forefront for a few years with the with the pandemic and even in the past couple of weeks i've experienced some death just like in the periphery nothing nothing that was very no one who was very close to me passed away but i've had some friends and some students and whatever who have had an encounter with death recently and i was kind of thinking about it and like Okay, like I wonder what I wonder what death feels like. Does it feel like I'm I have to stay home sick and I can't go to the party and do all the fun things that everybody's doing, or is it this great release and dissolve where all of a sudden there's no attachment, there's no care? I don't care about anything. I'm just you know dissolving into the great abyss and it's and it's all good and I'm one with the universe. Or is it nothing, right? Or is it just nothingness after you live you're you're dead and it's nothing so i don't know i don't have i don't have answers but i was just kind of contemplating this with regard to aliveness and so regardless of how bad i feel in any given moment and how much i would like to change my situation 
can I invite myself, and I've been doing this lately, to just celebrate my aliveness and celebrate my capacity to feel because what's like, I don't, when I think about like, oh, would I rather be dead? No, like I'm, I'm enjoying the ride for better or worse, even though there's definitely challenges. So celebrating my capacity to feel and be part of this great dance and this big party that we're all, we're all, we're all at together here on earth. And yeah, so just really, really dropping into that and, and, uh, and being grateful for, for those, those deep feelings. Because as a human, whew, I have a great capacity to feel. And that's something that in my personal life and my personal practice, I've been working with a lot as I've, I've noticed a lot of sensitivities that have emerged recently in my life. I feel, yeah, I feel very sensitive. I feel like my body, my hormones are perhaps going through some changes and some, some challenges that I'm experiencing myself in a different way. I've shared this with some of my, my students and my friends recently. I, yeah, I feel more introverted. I feel more sensitive. I was at a restaurant, a co- actually a couple times I was at a restaurant within the past week and the music was just like grating on me. And I felt like just really sensitive to, to the sound and the sound quality and like all this stuff to the point where I was like, should I leave? And part of me has felt very judgmental of myself for for going through these changes and feeling extra sensitive, extra introverted, whatever, and just like affected by things. But then if I look at it through this lens of celebrating my capacity to feel and celebrating my aliveness, then it's like, wow, how cool, how, how interesting that my body is going through this, that my soul is going through this, that I'm experiencing myself in this particular way. So celebrating the depth of my own feeling, my own capacity to have an experience with something, okay? And then, yeah, I still get to work on my own mindset, work on, you know, my own body to a certain degree and and cultivate more of what I want to move through the world. Wow, it's like really the wind is is picking up like crazy as I'm I'm speaking to you. Um, It seems aligned with the theme. So yeah, just celebrating those fluctuations, even if as yogis, as seekers, we're trying to limit the fluctuations, make it so the lows aren't so low, which might mean that the highs aren't so high because the highs are also temporary, just the same as the lows, but witnessing that constancy, that place of, of the heart consciousness, of, of loving awareness. So let's drop in for a moment. I don't know if anybody's here. Maybe not, but maybe someone will watch later. And if you do, I would love to hear from you. And if anyone is watching this and knows how to make the Facebook Live not zoomed in, bonus points if you tell me. (laughs) Okay, so dropping in a breath practice that I really like to do um, is bringing my hands to the bottom ribs. So right where the hard structure of the rib cage meets the soft abdomen. I notice that I get really caught there. I get a little bit stuck, probably from some notion of trying to make myself small or suck my belly in or the things that we humans and especially those living in women's bodies tend to do. So just breathing into the bottom ribs. And celebrating, celebrating my capacity to feel, celebrating my aliveness literally through the capacity to breathe and expand into the rib cage and the breath. Two more. (sighs) 
And then bringing the hands to the heart. In witnessing from the heart or from the soul, from the perspective of your highest self, can you just send a little gratitude, a little love, and just perspective onto your, your feelings, your experiences, the depth of your aliveness. So rather than in any given moment being like, wow, this sucks, I feel terrible. Can it be, how interesting. Wow, I'm very interested. I'm taking interest in my capacity to be alive and feel. <sighs> I'm going to bring one hand down to my belly. If there's anywhere else you'd like to place your hands in a gesture of loving kindness. Witnessing. Accepting. <sighs> Giving yourself the opportunity to be just as you are. We'll close with another deep breath together. Exhale all the air. Inhale. <sighs> Letting the eyes open if they're closed. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. I'm in the process of creating some new stuff, perhaps a new short program, new content, I don't know, whatever. But if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. If there's anything that you'd like me to talk about in the coming weeks, if there's any um, topic that you'd be excited to explore with me in like a one or two week online program, let me know. I'm here, I'm creating things. So I'll talk to you soon. Have a great evening.